Hi, I'm Adrian. I work on the Flash Platform team at Adobe. Um, today we're going to take a look at um, a bunch of different applications, games, video, sort of the core of what it is to deliver Flash on mobile devices. Uh, I've got a Palm Pre, a Motorola Droid, uh, an iPhone, uh, and a Google Nexus One, which are just some of the devices we're working. So one of the things that we want to show is video playback. So here we are on Golem. Uh, .de, uh, and I can just go ahead and play back a piece of video. I can tap to zoom in and show that video even bigger, and then double tap to go full screen. This is the Nexus One. It's got a really nice bright screen um, and great speakers, so you can probably hear it pretty well. We're seeing about uh, 18 frames a second, 20 frames a second uh, in software decoding, actually. So we can support a variety of different video codecs. Uh, and a lot of the content that's out there on the web will play uh, without needing to do any kind of updates or, or make any kinds of changes. Everybody wants to see Farmville, and nobody will admit that they play Farmville. So you can tap in. Oh, but when I tapped, I made my little guy run away. Let's make him come back. So I can zoom in on my roses have all died. Uh, a lot of work we've been seeing from uh, games companies. Uh, so another game we could do, we could go to say congregate.com. A lot of them will play uh, real well on Flash Player 10.1 on a mobile device. One of the big things they need to think about is making sure that it's a game that will play when there's no keyboard. So they do have to take some time to think about what are the games they should expose. So this is a little card game that they have. Double tap again to zoom in, I'll just rotate there. And this is a pretty, pretty compelling solitaire game I can play. I'll, I'll claim I'm an expert and we'll see how things go. Um, the way it works is you want to connect. So I want to, this is a jack, so I can go a 10 or nine. Joker will connect. Ooh, I'm doing really well. I can go six, seven, six, five. So there's thousands of those types of games out there. So just like Congregate, uh, Miniclip is one of the most popular uh, game uh, websites that's out there. It's got tons and tons of Flash games. So again, they have made a little bit of effort to uh, provide a mobile experience that's different from their traditional web experience for desktop computers. Um, and you can find games on here that um, you know, are special uh, in that they work really well on mobile devices. Um, they haven't modified these games, I should be clear about that. So they're, they're just pulling from the library of games that they have already. Um, and then there are some things in Flash Player 10.1 like accelerometer and multi-touch, but we haven't seen people really starting to take advantage of that yet. That'll be coming soon. So these are games that uh, were already out in the market. So this is one where you can just bounce on these little guys. Ah, I missed one. Um, and if I zoom in, I can see this is just w women's dress. Uh, it's made by Anne Klein or something. Um, one of the key ways that people want to interact with this, though, is they want to be able to zoom in on it. So if I click on that, it's going to give me a part of the experience that's built in Flash. Uh, and what it'll do is give me the ability to move through a number of images and transition through them. Uh, I'll rotate that. I can double tap, and it'll zoom in even closer. Um, and then if I want, I can just tap on that. You can get the details on that specific item, take a look at a different view. So that's one of the ways that people incorporated Flash into the user experience. Now, if you were to go to this shopping site or a lot of shopping sites on a phone uh, or on a tablet or something that didn't have Flash, you wouldn't be able to get that kind of detailed product information. So um, the other thing that we um, announced today uh, was the availability of, or the uh, demonstration of Air on uh, Android. So what we mean by Air on Android, um, Air is one of the ways that developers can use Flash to deliver applications that are not within the browser. So rather than navigating to a website in order to play a game or uh, use an application, you can just go ahead and install it. So an example is this game Alchemist uh, that was originally built to be delivered as an application for the iPhone. Uh, it's built in Flash, but you can come in here and you can play it. The way the game works, uh, up at the top you get three or eventually gets to be five, six, seven, eight colors and you try to connect them by drawing a line that connects them in a row. So I need green, blue, and then red. So I go green, blue, 
and then, oh, I missed it. Green, blue, and then red by turning. Here I'd go uh, green, blue, green. And then the other thing that you can do uh, is think about, they originally built this game to be delivered on the iPhone. Um, so if you were to go up to the App Store, you can get the same game up on the App Store. Uh, it's available, it costs 99 cents, you can buy it. Uh, and the game plays exactly the same, because uh, it's actually written with exactly the same code. Um, so for developers, it means that you're going to be able to make it really inexpensive to deliver the game across lots of different operating systems. For users, what it means is you're going to have access to a lot more content, uh, because every developer who builds Flash is going to be able to deliver these games and get them onto the iPhone, get them onto the Android. Um, so it becomes very, very easy for them to um, build games and much more cost effective because they can reach a lot larger market. Runs really fast on whatever device it's on, right? Runs really fast on the iPhone, um, runs really fast over here on the Droid, kind of go back and forth and get a sense for what, what the response time looks like.